Hey everyone, what's going on? It's me, Cody, here, and welcome to episode 3 of the DVD VideoSoft Free Studio mini series. Now, in our previous two episodes, we covered the internet category and the DVD and video category. Now, in episode 1, we covered internet, and here we talked about programs that were useful for downloading from YouTube, which included video and audio files, and also uploading to YouTube. Now, in the DVD and video category, we went over programs that can convert between many different video formats. We skipped the quick editing, but we did cover a free screen recorder, so if you missed either of these episodes, feel free to check them out by clicking on the link. For example, you can click on the internet icon, or you can click on the DVD and video icon if you missed them. Now, in today's episode, we're going to cover the MP3 and audio category. Here, we're going to cover programs that convert between audio files, and we're going to go over a quick editing program. Now we're going to skip ripping and burning audio CDs because that goes in our next episode. But let's go ahead and open this up. Now as you guys see, we only have three programs to cover today, so this episode should go a lot quicker than all the others, and let's go ahead and start right off with the free audio converter. Now just like all the other programs, it has a very simple layout. You go ahead and add in your audio file. You can choose to remove them if you have more than one. You can choose the output name, and you can add tags. Now when you add a tag, it gives you all the information, so you can add the name of the song, the artist, the year, the genre, and much more. Next you choose your save to destination. Mine is on my desktop, but you can choose that with the choose output folder, and you can also open your output folder if you want to look at what you have saved. Here we have our formats, and it gives you a bunch of different audio formats to choose from. So you can convert between many different audio formats, such as MP3, M4A, AAC, WAV, WMA, OGG, FLAC, and APE. And for each of these formats, you have your quality. So as an example, the MP3 format has insane quality and it'll give you the specifications right below. Extreme quality, standard quality, old standard, MP3 audiobook, and this last one is a preset that I made. Like we covered in episode 2, you have a preset editor. So you can go ahead and choose any of your presets and you can edit them. For example, we have the MP3 audiobook preset, and you can go ahead and change the hertz rate, you can change the channel, you can change the bit rate. And if you want to create a new one, you can go ahead and hit the new button, give it a name, choose your format, choose your rate, choose your channel, choose the bit rate, hit the OK button, and your preset will show up under the format that you selected it for. And once you have everything selected, hit the convert button, and you got a new audio file. Now the next category is the free audio to flash converter. Now we covered free video to flash here in the video category and the programs are almost exactly alike. You choose your input file, choose the output folder, by browsing it you choose it, you can open it, choose the output name, and you also have the player option just like in the free video to flash converter you choose a player so that once you convert the file you can go ahead and play it with this player and you can choose the colors, you can choose the player type, once you have that selected, hit the OK button, and there you have it. Now up next, you choose your presets. It only has a few presets, five different presets that you have to choose from. And as you see, I did create one below. The preset editor is under edit for this program. And it's a little bit different, but you can still create your own preset and you can still edit existing presets right here. So once everything's selected, you go ahead and hit the convert button and you're good to go. And lastly, we have our free audio dub. Now what this program allows you to do, it allows you to input a complete song and then go ahead and edit it down and take chunks out of that song that you want. For example, if you want to make a ringtone for your phone but you don't want the complete song on your phone, you could use this file to edit it down and it's a very easy program to use. You input your file, choose the output file destination, and once you have the file inputted, it'll show up on this line. You can go ahead and play it, stop it, rewind it, fast forward it, but these are really your two money makers right here. The first one allows you to make the beginning cut, and the second one allows you to make the end cut. So once you have your little tidbit selected out of the song, it will appear right here. It will show you when you started the cut, when you ended the cut, and the total amount of time that cut takes. And you also have all these extra buttons here. Now the first one allows you to play the snippet that you want to cut. The second button allows you to delete the chunk that you selected. This one allows you to go to the beginning of the cut. This one allows you to go to the end of the cut. And this one deletes everything in general. And you have your undo and your redo buttons. And once you have your chunk of the song selected, you go ahead and hit the save button and it will save that small cut of the song to your output folder. So that's all for the MP3 and audio section. I know it went by pretty fast, but there's some good programs in here. And if you want to check this program out, 
You can download it at dvdvideosoft.com or at download.com. I have both of the links in the description, so check that out. And if you missed out on any of the other episodes, once again, click the icons, and it will take you to either of those episodes. So some pretty good stuff if you want to check that out. Also, make sure you stay tuned for episode 4 and our finale of the DVD Videosoft Free Studio Series, where we're going to cover the CD, DVD, and burning data section. Here we're going to talk about burning DVDs and audio CDs, ripping DVDs and audio CDs, and burning data. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Stay tuned for that. And that's pretty much it for now, guys. I will see you in the next episode. This is Castro5661. Peace.